What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. So this is the creek that I grew up on right here. Been loving filming the videos up here lately, so I thought I'd film another solo survival video up this creek for you guys today. So pretty much the plan is I've only brought my knife with me, and what I'm gonna be doing is using this knife to hopefully build a primitive spear, catching my own food tomorrow and cooking it up. Now I've done this once before. I went out in my kayak and managed to spear a massive flathead. While looking around with my spear, I found a little drain just over here at low tide. There was one really deep pocket in it and there was heaps of flathead sitting just in that little pocket so I've come back at the moment it's high tide and what I'm thinking of doing just waiting here for a couple of hours maybe seeing if I can see any fish in the shallows if not wait till low tide scare one of those flathead out and get it with the spear hopefully you won't believe of course the last flathead that I spot sitting just down there is the biggest he'd be at least 60 centimeters he's in about a foot of water at the moment the tides pushed all the way out I've got one more chance to get this fella. Come on. Got him! Got him! Oh! Yes! No way! Oh! Look at the size of him! Look at the size of that flatty! Oh! The primitive spear worked! After all this time, Missing all those flatties, got him right through the head there. Yes! Ah! He's biting my finger. That right there is a big dusky flathead. I hope you guys saw that. Cooked it up and it did taste so good, so I thought I'd do it again today. And all of you guys have been loving the solo survival videos lately, so let me know if you want to see more like this in the comment section below. You're not actually allowed to spear in freshwater creeks like this one here in Australia, so I'm not going to be spearing in here today, but I'm just going to be using this place to gather some resources, make a spear, and then early tomorrow morning, head out in the kayak and hopefully get something with it. That's the plan anyway. Look at this big knife that I got right there. If you want to see more solo survival videos like this one, let me know in the comments section below. But what I'm going to do now, start walking up this way, surveying the banks and hopefully we can find a sapling that should be good. Actually there's one over there. Right, that looks pretty good. That's definitely gonna be good for a spear. So what we need to do, cut it up to size. I'm gonna make this one a bit longer so it's a bit more easy to throw and get a bit more power behind it. But yeah, that should be pretty good. Then we'll just sharpen off the end and it's good to go. we go that looks pretty good now let's come down here and sharpen it off so what I'm gonna do now just carve off this end it's probably about six or seven foot spear so perfect size then once I sharpen this off it'll be good to go hear that thunder in the background we're in for a big storm tonight You don't need anything too crazy to spear these fish. Most of them are just sitting around on the bottom. And if you get enough force behind it, oh, that's definitely gone through one. Take a look at that right there. Primitive spear that I just carved in probably like 15 minutes down the creek. That should be really good if we're gonna go spear some fish tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do now, get a bit of an early night, pack everything up, and then early tomorrow morning, head down to this saltwater creek system, hopefully find a couple fish sitting in the shallows that we can get with this spear right here. Nothing like solo survival videos with some primitive weapons. I reckon this is gonna do well. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go. We made it.
All right, so there we go. Take a look at that. It's the next day at the moment. We've just made it out to the water. It's about six o'clock in the morning. We're gonna be staying here all day until we catch a fish at least. Then I'm gonna go somewhere and cook it up. But yeah, I'm really excited to get out in the water, get something with this primitive spear. I know there's a lot of fish out there. I've got a lot of fish out there before with primitive bows and primitive spears. So hopefully we can see a couple today sitting in the shallows and get a good shot at them. And let's catch some lunch, baby. Let's go. Alright, now let's get back to basics and try get something with this spear right here. Looks pretty good. I reckon we'll be able to do it. Before we actually start spear fishing, I might have a cast of the rod just in here. See if I can get anything just for fun. There we go. There we go. Oh. <laughs> a foul hooked Moses perch. <laughs> oh, at least I got something. Get here. Well, there we go. That's pretty cool. They're a nice looking fish, eh? These mangroves right here hold life for so many species, both inside the mangroves themselves and in the water surrounding it. There's so many fish up here. And even though this creek system in particular is really overfished, all the animals here still somehow find a way because I've caught some big fish and seen some absolute river monsters inside this area right here. So we're just gonna keep heading around, maybe have a bit more of a fish, see if we can get anything else. If not, get the spear out and hopefully get something. Right this way. Yep, there we go. What's that? Oh, another Moses perch. It's all right. Ladies, buddy. Oh, that's a f oh, what? No way, I thought there was a flatty in there. What? I can't believe I caught it. It's literally blocked off from the actual um, main river system. The main river system's right there. This one's obviously way too small, but good to know. All right, go tell your bigger friends to come out in the shallows. See if we can get another one, that's awesome. Yeah, there we go. Another micro flathead. <laughs> I'm not very good at estimating, but I'd say that this one would be pushing three meters for sure. Ladies, buddy. All right, so what just happened was I was fishing for a while, caught a heap of little flathead, that was about it. But what happened was that little closed source of water that I was catching those little flathead in, I was walking around to put my fishing rod away and grab this spear to see if I could get any breakfast. And I saw a flathead, which probably would have been legal, sitting in the start of this little thing. And I let it go because I wasn't 100% sure, but thinking back on it, 
that would have had to have been legal. It would have been 40 or 42 centimeters around that area. But I forgot my ruler today, so I'm gonna have to make sure that they are legal before I spear them, because I don't wanna get in trouble or anything. But I just thought it was so cool how many flathead are in that little water source. And imagine all the other ones that I'm not seeing, because these flathead are so camouflaged. But what I'm gonna do now, get on the kayak, go to another spot, the fishing rod's retired for the day, unless I actually get something with the spear soon. And now we're just gonna be going hunting, so let's get into it. Now, if you were really in a survival situation, there is food all around you in the mangroves, but because we're not actually in one, you can't eat it because a lot of the fish aren't legal and a lot of the crabs are really small. I was talking to a bloke at the boat ramp and he was saying that the other day he was out here and he actually found a stonefish going across one of the sandbanks. It's the only reason he saw it, it was standing right near it. I think the only way you're gonna find a stonefish out here is with your feet. They blend in so well, so that's something that I definitely wanna steer clear of. So I'll keep my eyes peeled. What? No way. There he goes. That's an old stingray right there. All right, everyone. So it's actually day two at the moment. Now, yesterday, Although we did see a lot of fish in the shallows, we did see a lot of stingrays and everything, we didn't see anything that we could actually get with the spear that I was happy enough with. So today is the final day that we're gonna come out here and hopefully, hopefully try catch a flathead or something with this primitive spear right here. The weather today is completely opposite to what it was yesterday. Yesterday was probably one of the hottest days we've had in a while. And today it's forecasted that there's gonna be some big thunderstorms later on. So we need to get in these mangroves, get a fish and then get out before these thunderstorms come in because I'm on a kayak. This is our final chance this week or we'll have no video. So let's get into it. Let's go. How good is this? Woo. all these shallow areas to see if we can spot any flatties because this is where these guys will be sitting right up near the banks waiting for that bait to get pushed down as the tide goes out there's a big school of brim over there there's probably 10 or 15 just swimming around in the shallows i got the camera in one hand i'm gonna have a go at them that's a big one there's one in there that's probably about 30 35 centimeters Just missed him. So I just spotted a flatty, a big one, and he spooked down into this area somewhere. He was just sitting at the top there. I came in with my kayak. in there this glare is terrible I can barely see anything the only way he can get out is down that way so if I can spot him oh, I should have a good chance Oh! <gasps> 
right there. He is sitting right there. All right. Oh, all this dirt is going down there. I do not want to spook this flathead. Oh, I should have taken the shot. He's moving back down this way. Where'd he go? He keeps moving down this way. I can't see anything if he gets in there. Oh, I can't see him right now. Where is he? Where did he go? No, there he is, down there. He's moving fast now. Oh, I hit him, but he got off. There we go. There we go right there. And that is how to get a flathead. Take a look at that. That is gonna be my breakfast right there. Oh, that is so good, all right. It's not a very good shot. I'm gonna quickly go put him out of his misery. Oh, I don't want these fish to suffer. Even though I am eating them, you still gotta respect these animals. So I'm running over to get my knife right now. Thank you, buddy. Look, it just came off. All right, and he is dead. And that right there is a decent dusky flathead. Oh, I can't believe I finally got one. Day two, this is probably like the third shot of the day. Let me put him down for a second, set the camera up. So we got the flatty right here. And then take a look at what I've spotted. Just over this way. Oh, oh, there he goes. He'll shoot back up here in a second, you just wait. So he's seeing me right now. Oh, let's go, how good is that? Right now, let's get this oh, camera out and get some more shots of this flatty sinking knee deep in mud at the moment. So excited. And there we go, take a look at that right there. A nice sized dusky flathead, that is so good. It's good to get them up in this creek system, especially with the primitive spear. This is the second time I've come up here and filmed it and done it. I used to do this stuff all the time when I was really little, just coming out here with primitive weapons, primitive bows and spears. It's probably one of the funnest ways that you can actually come out here and catch your own food. And I'm gonna be doing more stuff like this. You guys have been loving the primitive videos as of lately. So I thought I'd come out here, catch myself a bit of breakfast. Now what happened just then was I actually spotted him on my kayak and lucky enough for me, he shot off up the passage, didn't go back out into the deeper channel. So I was able to follow him up here on foot and luckily enough at the start, he did not see me. I think the glare was on my side or something. And he just kept going further and further up the estuary. Any minute now, he's just gonna absolutely take off like these flathead normally do. I got one shot on him and it hit him and I think it stunned him because a bit of blood came out. And then yeah, it was a bit slower after that. So I got another one into him, went in the side and as soon as I got it up on here, it actually fell out. So luckily enough, I was able to get him up on the bank. But take a look at that. Now these flatties right here are probably the easiest species of fish that you can catch with these primitive spears and bows because they literally just sit on the bottom of the floor and they are pretty easy to spook. And that's why I love using the kayak. Way easier to get around these little creek systems and you can get to places that you can't in actual boats. Plus this fish right here tastes so good and I'm so happy that I was able to get one. Now if you want to see more content like this and see me posting videos before I actually upload them onto my channel, go check us a follow on Instagram. Ugh, so many mozzies are biting me right now. Every time I come out into the mangroves, I just come back a mess. You might be saying, why don't you use mozzie spray? But it literally doesn't even work. I put that much of it on, then my back just ends up getting hammered all day by mozzies. Got to do what you got to do to get these flatties out here. The only way to go, primitive. All right, let's keep going. All right, everyone, so we just made it back out to the main river system at the moment, and what I'm gonna do now is I've got this flathead in the kayak. I don't want it to be sitting in here for too long, so I'm gonna go find a place before it starts pouring down that I can actually cook it up, because it's a bit of a reward. I haven't eaten anything all day yet, so after all this effort, trenching through the mangroves, getting my kayak out here, three days in a row, I've finally got one. So let's head back over to the boat ramp, chuck the kayak on the roof and get out of here and cook up this flatty. Let's go. <laughs> so I just got back home at the moment and normally I'd be cooking it up in a big fireplace or up a creek system or something, but it's actually raining pretty hard at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is I've bought a little gas cooker and a couple things to cook up this flathead. So I'm gonna start filleting it up and get it ready to cook up.
Then we're left with two nice fillets. I'll go wash them off now. True. So what I've just done is I've added some salt, pepper and mixed herbs onto it and I've chucked it in this pan, chucked a bit of oil in there. As you can see it's cooking up pretty nicely and I reckon next time I go out to the mangroves I'm going to try to catch something that isn't a flathead. I want to get something really big off my kayak with a spear. And to all the new people that are watching the channel, I've got heaps of videos. Literally last year in 2020, I posted a video a week for the whole year. Just going on different missions every single day, challenging myself to do new stuff. And that's also what I'm going to be doing this year. So let us know what you want to see in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. I think these are ready to flip. And there we go. Put some lemon on it. Just like that. See how it tastes. Beautiful. That's actually really good. But yeah, I reckon that's about it for another video I've run. Thank you guys so much for watching, coming along for the adventure. To all the new subscribers, I got plenty more videos coming soon. I'm normally posting them on Friday or Saturday here in Australia. So stay tuned for the weekends. And this year I'm free to travel, free to do whatever I want. So let me know what kind of video ideas you guys want to see because that's the reason why I'm doing it. I got a crazy idea planned for next week. I'm going to be trying to catch some jungle bull sharks off a blow up stand up paddle board. But yeah, thank you all so much for the continuous support and I'll see you again in the next adventure. Let's go.